Like a lot of you, I've been using Anchor chargers for my smartphones and pretty much anything else that plugs in via USB for a long time. The only downside is that you still need a wall outlet to plug into. In this video, I'll be relying exclusively on this. The Anchor Prime 27,650 mAh power bank to see just how long it'll last me and keep me away from a wall outlet. So here's the challenge. Over the next 36 hours or so, I'm gonna be traveling from Cleveland to Louisville, Kentucky for a work trip. And I didn't bring any plugs to plug any of my devices in. Instead, I'm gonna be relying on the Anchor Prime power bank here with a 27,000 milliamp hour battery on the inside to power all of my devices. I have a smartwatch, earbuds to listen to music and watch movies two smartphones and of course my laptop for getting work done and hopefully this little power bank here well it's not exactly little but it's still pretty portable and tsa pre-approved which means i can take it on a plane with me this should be enough to power me through the entire trip and hopefully a little bit more so let's see how this goes Well, one flight down and one more to go. I'm in Chicago right now for a couple hour layover. I believe it's two and a half or two hours and 45 minutes, which does give me time to eat. But I'm also gonna have to charge my devices as well. My smartphone's down to a little bit under 50%, I think it's like 45%. And my laptop now is about 75%. Need to charge both of those up. I watched a movie on the first airplane on my smartphone. This is the benefit of having a power bank in situations like this rather than having a wall outlet just because even in an airport where there are a lot of chargers that you can plug into, a lot of times they're just not powered on. I've had so many situations where I look around for 10, 15 minutes and try to get a power outlet after someone else has used it for their device and only to find that it actually doesn't work. Someone was plugged in for maybe 20 to 30 minutes and didn't realize that their phone wasn't charging that entire time. Having a 27,000 milliamp hour battery with me at all times gives me full control over my power rather than having to rely on finding an outlet to charge my devices. While I charge my devices, this will be the perfect time to dig into a little bit more details on the Anchor Prime power bank. As mentioned before, this has a 27,650 milliamp hour battery capacity which means you should be able to charge most smartphones up to five times. And the laptop that I'm using is the Lenovo Slim 7i, which has a 61 watt hour capacity. So it should be able to do a full charge and a half with this single power bank. But the main selling point here definitely has to be the charging speeds, offering up to 250 watts all at once thanks to the two USB-C ports that individually deliver 140 watts or 140 watts and then 100 watts when both of them are used at once. And of course, there is a USB-A port there as well. But the power bank can also charge back up really fast as well in just 37 minutes at 170 watts with both USB-C ports accepting power or at 100 watts with the Anchor Prime charging base, which I'm going to be touching on towards the end of the video. The power bank is also compatible with the Anchor app, allowing you to connect the battery to your smartphone over Bluetooth to view the statistics in real time, adjust a handful of other settings, and also locate the battery with an audible chime if you do happen to misplace it. But personally, I do enjoy having the display on the front that provides most of the same information showing just how much power is being used from each of the ports and how much longer the battery will last under the current power draw. It's been a long day, I have to say that. After two flights flying from Cleveland to Chicago and now to Louisville, I've been flying for about six and a half hours, but with all of that 
actually leaving the house this morning about 9.30 and it's now 5, 5.35. So eight hours on the road using my devices, using the laptop, charging things back up. The battery here is now at 69% and my smartphone, which is the device I've used the most after charging it up completely and then using it again on that second flight, I'm now down to 65% again. But even though it's so late in the day, I'm actually gonna charge that up because I'm gonna be using the Pixel 8 Pro for a camera comparison. And as everybody knows, recording video and taking photos takes up a lot of battery. And having a full battery is always the best option. And I definitely have a lot of power to spare so far, or at least I think so. 69% charging the phone back up should probably only take about eight or 9% off of this battery bank. So let's get to it. After spending the rest of the afternoon and most of the evening taking pictures for a camera test, we then headed out to dinner and then I made sure in the morning to make sure I charged all of the devices before heading out from the hotel. And at that point, I had a 23% charge on the Anchor Prime power bank. At this point, I'm about 24 hours into this 36 hour trip. So this should be enough to get me home at the end of the night. But of course, the whole reason for this entire trip was to head to Churchill Downs, the home of the Kentucky Derby. And for this year, they're hosting the 150th one. And Verizon was showing off some networking capabilities that they're putting in place during the event, but also some of their emergency response capabilities as well. And for that, I captured a lot of photos and videos, which of course takes a big toll on the battery life of my devices. And then we finished off the day going to Angel's Envy Distillery. If you like bourbon, this is something that I definitely recommend if you're gonna be in Louisville. But of course, that also meant I wanted to do additional camera comparisons with the two devices that I brought, which of course drained the batteries even more than what I was expecting. Well, it's been a bit of a long day here in Louisville, did the event for Verizon and used my phone a lot. This device now is about 15%, so it's definitely due for a charge. But now the flight I was just on has been delayed due to weather in Chicago. So they unboarded us and we'll have to see if I can actually make it home tonight. So this 36 hour trip might turn into a 48 hour trip we don't get out of here within the next hour and a half or so. Fortunately, I still have about 20 to 25% on the Anchor Prime power bank. So I'm gonna charge up this phone, get it hopefully to 100% and see if that's gonna carry me through all the way until tomorrow or at least until I get home. After that delayed departure and yet another delay once I got to Chicago, I did manage to arrive home by 2 a.m., about eight hours later than what I was originally expecting. But the Anchor Prime power bank did manage to get me through the entire 41 hour trip with a decent 20% charge left on my smartphone and more than a 50% charge on my laptop. But the power bank itself was depleted all the way to zero, as you can see right here. Fortunately, all you have to do to charge this back up is set it on the Anchor Prime charging base that will charge this at 100 watts, as mentioned previously in the video. But I do wanna mention a little bit about the charging base itself. It does have two USB-C ports and a USB-A port delivering 100 watts to any device that's plugged into it, even when the power bank isn't attached. Now I know for most people, a 27,650 milliamp hour battery is probably a little bit of overkill, but if you want something similar, but a little bit smaller, there's also the Anchor Prime 20,000 milliamp hour battery, which is about an inch and a half shorter and $50 cheaper. And while I definitely needed the larger power bank for this trip this week, for most of the trips that I'm gonna be taking, I'll probably pay, be packing the smaller version, especially when I know that I'll have regular access to wall outlets. And that's gonna do it. For more details about either of these Anchor Prime power banks and also the Anchor Prime charging base, be sure to check out the link in the video description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and thanks to Anchor for sponsoring this video.